Hello, Year Two. Welcome to another maths meeting. So maths meetings again. If you if you don't remember, they're just short uh, math lessons just to cover things we've already done to make sure we're embedding those skills. Okay. So in our last lesson, we did um, some addition. Now we're going to move on to some subtraction. So let's have a look here. Um, using the same skills, put the number in my head and use my fingers to count forward or back. Now we're doing subtraction today, so the number's going to get smaller, so I'm going to count backwards. So first one, 17 in my head, hold up six fingers and I'm counting backwards, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Being really careful when I'm counting backwards. It's a lot trickier to count backwards, isn't it? Next one, 24 in my head. So three fingers, I'm gonna count backwards. 24, 23, 22, 21. Next one, 39, subtract seven. Okay, put the number in my head, 39. And I'm subtracting, so it's going to get smaller. 39, 38, where are we? 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32. Right, let's work together. We've done this quite a lot, so you should be really good experts at this now. Uh, next one 14, subtract 6. So put that number in your head. Hold up six fingers and count backwards with me. Okay, so not forwards, backwards because we're subtracting. So 14, 14. What answer did you get? So 14 in my head, I count about six. So 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Well done if you got eight. 31, subtract 4. Have a think. What number goes in your head? Which way are you going to count? How many fingers are you going to hold up? So 31 in our heads. 31. 31. Well done if you got the answer 27. Um, if you're ca still counting up, remember we're subtracting, so you need to count backwards. It's sometimes quite tricky to go when the tens change. It's sometimes quite tricky to remember the um, what number comes next. Uh, forty-nine subtract five. So put forty-nine in the head. Tell me your answer. Oh, well done if you got forty-four. Okay, right now it's over to you guys again for your turn to have a go at the maths meeting. I'll, I'll put this on seesaw as well so you can um, write on the sheet if you need to or if you've got it in your homework packs. Um, you can pause now, have a go. There's also a challenge there for you to do like we had a challenge in the, um, in the last lesson. And pause it now so you can go through it and then I'll do the answers. Okay. Also need to upload it to Seesaw so I can see that work that you're doing and I can share it with the other teachers and give you feedback on um, on on what you're doing. Okay. Brilliant. Okay. Pause now and go to have a go. Okay. You should have paused it. So I'm going to go through the answer now. So if you haven't done all the answers, pause it now and go through it. Okay, so first one, 15 take away 4, 11, 19 take away 3, 16, 31 take away 7. That's a tricky one even for me. So 31 in my head, hold up 7, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24. Take away 9, 15, 98 take away 3, 90, 
five. 26 take away three, 23. 42 take away six, that's 36. 29 take away five, 24. 66 take away four, that's 62. 74 take away five, 69. And um, challenge, if you had a go at the challenge, remember you're finding that missing number to see what was it. So 29 take away something equals 26. So if I'm subtracting, and I need to count backwards, so 29, 28, 27, 26, 3. 22 take away is 18, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18. Next one is three. Next one is forty two take away something equals thirty nine. So forty two, forty one, forty, thirty nine. Let's do three. Thirty one take away twenty seven. Four. And then something take away three is thirty four. So I need to work backwards again. Thirty four. Add three. Okay, well done for your hard work today. Make sure you're sending in those um, worksheets that you've done on Seesaw so we can all, so your teachers can see them. And I'll see you in the next maths meeting tomorrow.